I would say that I am an adult companion. I create adult content, I create pornographic content. Maria is 21 and has been in the adult industry for two years. She produces and sells explicit images and videos online. If I enjoy taking these and someone's gonna pay me to take these, then more to me kind of thing. I was like, you're just kind of boosting my, my fun and my enjoyment and it is something that like, yeah, it'll take you maybe like three hours to try and take the perfect picture. But then once you get it, it's like a sense of accomplishment. Like, oh my God, I did that. The finances that it's given me has been insane. Um, so the fact that I can fully take control of the business myself and I know what I can put out. Sites like OnlyFans and Admire Me are content subscription services. This means that models will upload explicit photos and videos to their page and people wishing to view their content will have to pay a subscription for the privilege. Since the start of March and throughout the UK's lockdown, OnlyFans has seen a 25% rise in their models, whilst new joiners to Admire Me have gone up by 34%. And it's kind of easy to see why. You can do it from anywhere, all you need is a camera phone and all it takes is a couple clicks to sign up. But not all people new to these sites are new to the industry. This is all my hearty things. Um, this thing here is a bondage throne. This goes on the nipples. I'm a dominatrix. I've been a dominatrix for over a decade now. Um, recently I've moved to online work. It's, it's brand new to me. I don't, you know, I've not done cam work in my entire life, so I've had to learn a whole new set of skills. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? What, how far is too far? I feel like there are there's a lot of people who'd never considered this line of work before who are suddenly... It suddenly becomes attractive because I think a lot of people join this industry thinking, I'll just do it for... I'll do it until lockdown finishes. I'll do it till I can go back to my other job. I'll do it until... But what they, they fail to realise and they're not educated about it is um, this is needs to be treated as a permanent career move. Um, it becomes just really, really difficult for people psych like mentally. And it's for me that what I can see is it's a, a kind of mental health time bomb waiting to go off, um, you know, years down the line. I needed to make some money. So it seemed like the quickest way and the easiest way. Vanessa has experienced firsthand what some of the consequences of using these sites can be. Her relationship with her parents broke down after they were sent screenshots of her pictures. Because of how things are nowadays and the way that we're raised now with so much explicit content at our fingertips, we don't feel so much shame in it because we're desensitised to it really. I would say I regret letting people know that it was me. So promoting it on my social media. Because if I kept my identity a secret, all of this stuff with my family never would have happened. Having OnlyFans, it is you being in charge of a sexual like situation, which is so rare. But the hard part is getting that control. If Admire Me and other competitors didn't exist, then women would still be working in the sex industry. So what we're doing is providing a safe, safe platform for models and subscribers alike. We've got two options if it's normalised and it's a safer place to be, or it's pushing to the carpet and pretending that it doesn't happen and it's not a safer place to be, and I know which one I would prefer. The models on our site aren't victims of anything. These are like empowered women that were taking control of their own lives. I had a really busy week planned just before um, lockdown and uh, I lo immediately lost £1,500 worth of business. While online sex work may offer an alternative income during lockdown, for some, the effort you put in doesn't match the money you get out. For that hour, I get paid personal leaves, that's it. Um, I'll, make, I'll make anywhere between £100 and £150 pounds for, for that session. Whereas on here, I'll do all that same work and it'll take me months to get that to get the same amount of money back because if I'm selling at ten dollars 
then I'm going to have to sell that 10 times. You put that out per month, it's not great money, you know? It's not what I'm used to. <laughs> Despite the financial loss, Megara's limits are firm. I could go explicit, but if I wanted to make more money, but then there's no coming back for that. Like, I don't want, I don't want my f***ing internet. Like, <laughs> I'm very traditional dom, where, you know, you don't get naked, you don't go down the sexual route. It's very much, um, very traditional. That, that's just me. By the time you add on, like, your advertisements, your underwear, if you buy a new underwear set, your makeup, your fake tan, if you have your nails, that's a lot of money. That's it just clicking properly for me, and I've been in this 10 years. That's insane. It feels like I'm not really spending money because I'm making money from it. I think that's the best way to put it. I'm like, yeah, I'm investing in myself. <laughs> I've actually done this myself. There was no big fancy camera. I've literally just done it from like a phone. And I think that's maybe why some girls are also kind of joining it because they're like, it is just kind of this easy. The more that I'm doing it, the more I'm enjoying it rather than just being like, oh, this is just a job or I just need to make money. It's, I actually enjoy making this content. I actually do put it out there and kind of making money from it as such. Um, obviously money is obviously going to be the bonus side of it, but like, to know that like, that's me. <laughs>